I was asked why I was able to beat the rest of the groups in my class and in the international championship and why am I able to coach people to consistently beat others in business simulation games. There is a hidden tip in this short video. Listen carefully to the end. I believe it is because I asked these two questions. 1. What are the best practices, so I am not left behind the pack? 2. What does everyone believe is true, that are actually errors, and how can I use that to my advantage? Best practice are the set of things that everyone believes is true that are true. To find best practices one must discover evidence that confirms that that thing is true. To do this, you must find tests and the literature that prove that the best practice really works or you need to test it out yourself. For example, it seems to be best practice to make investments that you believe will reach your goals. Investment in research and development is like this. Investing early allows for a long payback time of that investment. Investing in the last year of the game doesn't make any sense because you will not get a return of investment. Let alone a return on investment on your money because research and investment always has a payback period of greater than one year. Therefore, it is best practice to invest in R&D early and not at all in the last year of the game. What are other best practices? See my walkthrough videos. Second, to find what everyone believes is true, but isn't. You need to be a skeptic. You need to look closely at what everyone else is doing and test whether it makes sense. In the business simulation game world it is fairly easy to test, by asking the customer, through the numbers, what the correct equations of success are. What far too many people do instead, is assume that the scoreboard leader is there only because of their genius. It may actually be luck. They may be at the top of the scoreboard because they are doing the wrong things. For example, again, the scoring leader may be skimping on investing in their company for the long term, like skimping on research and development. Or avoiding growth so that they can temporarily be at the top of the leaderboard for a year. And don't be a lemming thinking that everyone is doing it, so you have to as well. Test it to make sure. This is especially true of compensation. Sometimes workers don't actually want what you are already giving them and they would prefer something else. Remember, sometimes none of us are as dumb as all of us. For example, just because the industry averages for that variable are conveniently located next to where you make your decision, doesn't mean that that is what you should do. In summary, there are no magical numbers, but there is a magical procedure to win and its name is testing. Watch this video next.